friends, welcome to another American Crafts Design Team post. This is in the A5 Kelly Creates bullet journal and it's called the Clarity Creative Journal. You can see the outside is like a suede. And I'm using the Kelly Creates Creative Journal stamps and I believe this first one is 348275. There's my bleed through pen test in the very back of the bullet journal. I just tested all the Kelly Creates pens, and this paper is amazing. It's got a pink dot grid, and it has super, super smooth paper so that it won't fray the nibs of your brush pens for your brush lettering and calligraphy. And it has a nice bright white color. So here, after I dried the stamp, I stamped it with permanent black ink, and now I'm using the Kelly Creates Aqua Brush pens to color in with a Vicky Booten water brush. You saw me lay down some of the color directly from the brush onto the acrylic block. Now I'm going to go back and use the same color and color three different flowers with the blossom, which is the pink color. I'm just adding more water to the outer edge of each petal and concentrating more color on the center of each petal. This is really easy to do with a water brush because you can control the water and the amount that's coming out. So I'm just going to do a little bit of simple shading. This is, a, is really easy to do. And once I get all of the pink ones, I'll move to the next color, which is yellow. I believe it's called Sunshine. So I'm just, again, concentrating more, more a darker yellow in the center of the yellow flowers that I want to color yellow. I'm adding a little bit of the blossom just to create some interest and a darker shade of the yellow. Almost a peach color. So I like combining the yellow with the with the blossom color. There you can see how the blossom color really makes a nice peach darker shading for this yellow flower. So it's really fun and relaxing to color in these images and the paper in this Kelly Creates journal really took uh, the water and the color supremely well. It didn't bleed through, it looks great, and the paper didn't warp. So that is a really good test. If you can watercolor on your paper and it not bleed through and not warp, then that's really good paper. So now I'm going to add some of the turquoise and create some flowers with the turquoise color. So I got my color scheme. You're going to see the next page that I'm going to do. This is just the title of the opener page and I wanted to create a really colorful and bright and happy opening page and I'll use the Kelly Crate stamps and the Kelly Crates pens and also the Creative Devo Devotion to stickers and rub-ons. So here you'll see I mix both the pink and the yellow to create a peach color just so I can have another color on the on the floral wreath here. Now I'm mixing the blue and the yellow to create, create a nice light green. Just a simple water coloring of these leaves using a darker green for this for the center of the leaves. And now, now I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. You can see there was no bleed through and it looks really good. I actually even went back with a marker direct to paper and added more water and that didn't bleed through either so that's great. And once I get this image all colored what I can do is also add uh, Kelly Crates creative journaling stamps also come with oh here I showed you the Creative Devotion 2 packaging and if you want to go back and hit pause or stop on the video so that you can see the packaging on that. It's the Creative Devotion 2 line. And this stamp from Kelly Creates is perfect for bullet journaling. I really want to get more into bullet journaling because I like the fact that it seems like a really free way to create. And you need minimal supplies, just st some stamps, watercolors, pins, and stickers and rub-ons and all these are flat, flat items that won't bulk up your bullet journal.
So there the stamping is done. That was really super easy. You can see one little spot of turquoise. I actually just touched the pin and held it there too long that it bled through, but that was my own fault. So now I'm moving on to the next page that we're going to showcase today, and this is the whole process video of what it took to create these two pages. I'm using the Creative Devotion 2 rub-ons first. So what I wanted to create, my idea, is that I want three areas of the rub-ons on the two pages to kind of connect them. At first I'll use this aqua kind of paint splash and I love these rub-ons because they also they look when you use them on the bullet journal pages they look like they are printed on so they're really butter smooth and they look great on the paper. So I'm just trying to decide where I want all of the different rub-ons to go. And at first I'm using that rub-on tool and then I decide to uh, use the stick that came in the packaging. <laughs> the popsicle stick. So there'll be an aqua, aqua pink and a mustard yellow will be the colors. And you'll see why in just a minute I'll bring out the photos. This color scheme was inspired by the photos and the story of the little pet, senior pet I adopted. So I'm just cutting off that edge of the rub-on so that I can use it over here and bring that yellow color over to the left side of the page. These are really super easy to use. These rub-ons go on really well. And I'm just trimming off the excess there with my American Crafts Fine Tip Scissors. And I'll also add another brush stroke, the pink brush stroke here over the yellow. And I like that there's some transparency on these rub-ons so it kind of looks like what's painted on. And that looks great. These are really super easy to use. Now here are the photos. I'm using three photos. These are two by threes of my new Pomeranian Peanut. He's 10 years old and I really wanted to tell the story of adopting him. These are the Kelly Creates uh, Creative Journal bullet journaling stamps and I love that they're really crisp line detail images. They create nice clean images in your, in your bullet journal. These would be also great for Traveler's Notebooks, Hobonichi, anything where you would like to keep with flat, a flatter and less bulky design. I like, that's why I like using the stamps and coloring because that's a flat medium. So I'm going to use this stamping pad behind that section of the paper. So I'm going to stamp over the rub-ons and you can do that with permanent ink. And here's a third section that I'm stamping on. And I'm showing you the back of the packaging just so you can see the other designs in that Kelly Create stamp. She came out with lots of nice designs for bullet journaling, for art journaling, creative journaling, and your any kind of uh, journaling you like to do. Any paper crafts as well. These are great images. I'm just making sure that it's dry because I stamped it over the rub-on. I want to make sure that this image is dry and it's not going to smear. So I'm drying it with my heat tool first. Sorry, this will take a little bit. I did speed it up eight times, but <laughs> it's still going to take a while. I just am, I keep tilting the paper so that I can see if it's shiny, and if it's shiny, you know your ink isn't dry yet, so. I'll wait until it has a matte finish and then I'll move on to the next section. And I did a sample, so I wanted to see how long this hand lettering was and I'm going to hand letter with the Kelly Creates Dream Pins. And I'll hand letter the title, Peanut Story. I'm just showing you the color and the dream pin there. And I like to make the sample just so I know how long it will be and I won't run it up and run out of room there. It takes me a while to get my hand set for hand lettering. But these pins are really easy to use and they don't bleed through the paper, which is another great aspect. And you have two sides. You have the smaller brush and the larger brush. So here I'm laying back my photos just so I can get placement right. And then I'll hand letter the second kind of subtitle. So it's Peanut's Story, Adopt a Pet, Save a Life. 
and this is the dream set two, the dream pins two from Kelly Creates. She has set one and set two, and this petal color is from the second set. It's a lighter pink. So I'll hand let her adopt a pet, and then I'll uh, add save a life in all capitals. So those two colors uh, match the peanut sweater he's wearing, and that's why I chose to highlight those two dream pins. And now I'm going to use the Kelly Creates Fine Liner and write my journaling. I just have to decide what I want to say here. And so I've left, uh, the reason I wrote Hand Letter the title was so that I could write this story with this uh, fine tipped marker. I believe I'm using the 01, but there is a, it does come in a three pack so that you can have a 01, a 03, and a 08. It might come with a 05 as well. Oh, I'm using the 03. I see it on the pen right now. So I'm using my sticky thumb adhesive from American Crafts. Sorry, I'm pressing on the camera tripod is why the, it started shaking. So I'll place my three photos just so that I know exactly where I'll be able to write. The fact that the rub-ons and the stamping is a great way to t create some color and pattern on your page without adding lots of water. And they're just dry media. And so I think I'll turn on some music because all I have to do for the rest of the page is journal. And then the layout will be done on the right side. I'll focus on a large hand letter quote and then I add the washi tape on top of the photos. I'm adding the Creative Devotion pink marble washi tape that came in the first set, uh, Creative Devotion 1, and they've already put out a Creative Devotion 2, which is our focus today. So I'll add three strips of the washi tape, and then I'm going to add more stickers. This is a sticker, sticker sheets from the Creative Devotion 2. And so I'll add some hearts around the page for more shape, and this is where I'm going to hand letter the quote that I just made up about peanut there. <laughs> Every day you wake up is a day to wag your tail. Peanut is super happy to be alive every morning when he wakes up, and it's a really great, and it's really helped me. He's such a positive little dog. <laughs> After all of it, whatever things he's been through, he's just happy every morning. So I really wanted to hand letter that as a way to remember to be more like Peanut every day. And he makes me happy. So I'll add some more of the heart stickers and this says grateful as a sticker that says grateful. And one down here that says beautiful. And I love that some of these stickers look like painted a mixed media painting. So it's an easy way to add a paint, painted look to your Bullet, bullet journal spreads. And all I have to do is journal by that top right photo and the page will be complete. I have some finished shots and thank you for joining me. Bye!